All right. So very superficial vein, so we're gonna take a nice shallow angle. Hey everybody, Kendra the Vet Tech here, and today we're gonna talk about IV catheterization on a pig. So with pigs, where we place their IV catheter, the easiest place to get it into is their ear, their ear vein. You can, and I have done on a leg before, but because of their anatomy, they're so fat and their musculature is so large that it's usually pretty difficult to get it into a leg. So your best bet is their ear. So that's what we're gonna go over today is how to place an IV catheter in a pig ear. While we have the guilt restrained, I'll go ahead and show you a couple of other things too, such as intramuscular and subcutaneous injection sites. So let's go ahead and see if we can get one of these gilt snared up and go to work. All right, so we have this sow all snared up here. We're gonna usually do a three and three scrub on these guys, but pigs are a little bit dirtier, so we'll probably end up doing a little bit more than that with her, but that's okay. So the vein that we're looking for runs right here on the outside of the penna, and it usually runs right along this outer perimeter here. So you can see when I occlude, this little guy raises right here really well for me. So this is the one that we're gonna shoot for today. I usually like to use right ears in pigs because I'm right-handed and that works a lot better for me. But this sow has been numbered on her right ear, so I don't have a lot of space to work with on that one. So we'll put the, put the catheter in her left ear today. And we did end up with a different pig than we were initially shooting for. This sow is a little bit more cooperative. She's pigged a few times. She's a little bit more cooperative than that fresh little gilt we were trying to go after initially. So I have a nice clean space now to go ahead and insert my catheter. I'll give her one more scrub since she is a pig and we do wanna make sure that we're, it's not a sterile situation, but that we're as clean as possible. Typically, I don't shave pigs for just these short-term IV catheters if they just need a quick bolus of fluids. They razor burn really easy. Their hair is pretty thin and it's pretty easy to work around. So for these guys, I usually just clean them up really well. Oh, and I just touched that. So we do want to make sure that we don't touch the space that we're going to insert our catheter in. So I'll just give it one more scrub and one more alcohol here. There we go. And you do want to make sure that you're already prepared with all of your stuff out and ready. I have my little workspace right here that's all ready to go with my tape, my catheter, and my cap. If you have questions about how to insert a catheter, do see my catheter insertion video that I also have on YouTube. We're just going to go ahead and go with this since this pig is awake. All right. So I'm gonna occlude down here by the base of the ear. This is another reason why I like the right ear because I kind of end up a little bit backwards. All right. So very superficial vein, so we're gonna take a nice shallow angle. I have my flash and we're gonna go ahead and insert. and then place our cap on. So I have nice flow out of there, so I know I'm in the right spot. Now we're gonna tape this in. Whoops. There we go. Do keep your thumb on that cap while you're working on taping. All right, so I have my catheter in place with my cap on here. A trick I wanted to tell you guys about today is I really like to use the center of the two inch vet wraps to place inside the, the pig's ear to kind of round it out and make it easier for your taping. This sow's ear is way too big for that, but your smaller pet pigs, this is definitely a great trick to make your taping go a lot smoother for you. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and tape this catheter into the sow's ear. What I like to do is take a skinny piece of tape. You guys will notice all the sows in the background kind of destroyed my little already set up workspace. It's always best to make sure you have things set up before you get going here. We did not think this through fully. But what I like to do is lift up my little catheter here, 
Place my piece of tape underneath to secure the catheter in place. It's all right, so. And then we're gonna go ahead and just tape around her ear. We want our tape not too tight, but not too loose. All right, so I've got my first little tape on here, securing the catheter in place. I like to take a second long tape to secure it from the front. And as you can see, it's a little bit trickier to tape these in with the ear being just flat like this. But we'll get around her ear as tight as we can and get our thick piece of tape on. And she is awake and a little wiggly, so it's not the most beautiful tape job I've ever done. Then I like to take a little thin piece of tape to keep my cap in place separately. So if I need to change the cap for any reason, it's taped in separately from my catheter. And run this guy just on my cap here. And then finally, what I always like to do is place red vet wrap over the top of any IV catheter that I have in place. So it's really easy to see that there is a catheter in place on that animal. I always notch it so I have somewhere for my cap to go through. And for an animal like this that might get a little dirtier, I have a clean spot for access to my catheter port here. Got a little too much vet wrap for this sow's ear, but that's okay. All right. So now we have our IV catheter in place on our pig here in her ear. You do always wanna make sure that you flush any catheter before you put any drugs through it because some things are not meant to go under the skin. Some things can burn under the skin. So definitely make sure you flush. We're not gonna pester this sow anymore today since she is awake and she's been halfway decent so far. So we'll go ahead and let her go and get this catheter out. So that wraps us up for today, guys, for IV catheterization in pigs. Really quick, I just wanted to say that for IM injections on, the, on all pigs, it's a good idea to give them right here in the neck because when we work with things like market hogs that are meant for butcher, we don't wanna damage any of the meat. So even if you are working with pet pigs, they won't be butchered in the end. It's still a good practice to not give an intramuscular injection on a pig anywhere but right in this triangle in their neck. Similarly, with subcutaneous injections, they have nice loose skin right here behind their ears. So if you do need to give a subcutaneous injection, you can give it right there behind their ear. On smaller piglets, it's pretty easy to do it in the axillary or the inguinal if they have some extra skin back there and you need to do a sub-Q injection. So on a piglet, those are a couple of other options that you might have as well. Thanks for joining in with me today, guys. Do hit like and subscribe if you like this video and would like to see more on my channel. You can also see me on Facebook or Instagram at Kendra the Vet Tech. If you'd like to learn more about credentialed veterinary technician careers, you can check out my podcast, Kendra the Vet Tech, on your favorite podcast platform. Thanks, guys. When Hi, we do intra... Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. I mean, that's really adorable, Mom, but... Brenda, that's your job. <laughs>